What's up, people? How are y'all doing today, tonight, this morning? I am Mr. Kennedy. Let me do that. Let me do that intro real quick. Sorry, I just woke up. I am your host. Mr. Kennedy. If you like wrestling, even which I know a lot of people do. But if you love wrestling. What is going on with everybody? Sorry, I'm a little late today. Like, I started working nights again. I needed to get a couple hours of sleep. And today, we're going back to the Resident Evil remake. You know, um, I decided that I'm going to do a uh, handgun only run. This is going to be pretty fun. I am not going to um, take y'all through the cutscenes. So let's get this going. We're going to play as Claire. Handgun only. Now, I will be using... Um, I will be using the defense items because you have to. Like, there's no way I can get past back and forth without using grenades. So... And I only... I'll be using two handguns. The one that I start with, the SLS... And the handgun that you get in a police truck, but I'll be using that one more um, towards Birkin 3. The Birkin 3 fight, because it makes it easier to pop the pop the eyes on them. But yeah, I won't be using any other weapons. I hope everybody is doing well today, or tonight, or this evening, this afternoon, whatever part of the world you are from. And of course, I play hardcore mode because that's what I do. <laughs> Keyboard and mouse. So if you see me bumping into stuff, that's that's why I use keyboard and mouse, yo. And this was very fun, you know, because I, I did a pre-run of this yesterday just to see if I could do it. And I actually did. The only the only part that I had a little bit of trouble on was uh was X2 and X3. I mean, not X2 and X3, uh, Birkin 2 and 3. Y'all yeah, got to remember, um, when it comes to the zombies on hardcore mode, they double lunge at you. So y'all gotta be extra careful with that. I wonder if y'all can hear the audio. It just sounds a little low to me. I don't want it to be too loud. So I'm gonna need to hear Mr. X when he comes through. Y'all tell me if it's too loud or not. But yep, handgun only. This is going to be fun. Now, the only time I'm going to be using controller is at this part coming up because um, I, I've tried with keyboard and mouse like there's a split second where you can slip past the zombies. And just with the with the keyboard and mouse like that, that split second is just off for me. I keep getting caught. But I'm using keyboard and mouse for the rest of the game. Just this one part coming up. So I got the controller ready. Uh, 
Which is this part right here. Using the controller for this one part. Once I get done with this part, back to keyboard and mouse. This part coming up right here, like I said, you only got a split second to, to slip past these zombies. Like that. That's what I'm talking about. With keyboard and mouse, that's impossible, man. That is impossible with keyboard and mouse. I've tried and I keep getting caught. All right, back to keyboard and mouse. And we're playing as the lovely Claire Redfield. For, the, for those of y'all who don't know, I got some emos. Got some new emotes here. Let me do this real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Pop that up there. Oops. I want to do that twice. On keyboard, that's what happens when you have two. Bam. Look at all the emotes. And this is, I mean, once you know the game and you know where to go, you know what to do. This is not, this is not difficult at all. Just don't waste ammo when you don't need to waste it. And you should be fine. Like, I ran through this without running out of handgun ammo at all. And I actually beat my time. You know, I usually, on a scenario with Claire at least, I beat this game like almost an hour, uh, two hours and 30 minutes. But since yesterday, since I didn't have to run through a whole bunch of crap, I got, I ended up beating it like uh, around an hour and 20 minutes. Only take out the zombies that you need to take out. Save your ammo. Use your knife. It actually hurts like hell to these guys. Especially that infinite knife. Remember, I'm on PC, so the FPS is higher. We're only going to come in here. To get the ammo, to get the pouch so I can have some room. That's it. A headshot would be nice right about now. This guy takes too much damage. He takes more damage than he needs to. That's six shots already that that guy took to the head. It's a tank zombie, man. Make sure he's dead. Oops, hold up. I messed up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the only this is the only pouch I'm gonna get. See, I'm the type of guy, like, I don't like to waste time going back to get stuff if I know I don't need it. And I know people want to explore the game, but I've beaten this game so many times that I I just know what I don't, what I need and what I don't. And I'm not going to waste time going back for stuff. That I'm definitely going to need. Since this is handgun only, I don't have to waste time coming back down here to get the grenade launcher and all of that.
And I'm only gonna mix handgun bullets. That's it. I'm only gonna mix handgun uh handgun bullets. I'm not gonna mix any acid rounds, cause that cause I'm not gonna be using them, so. And like I said, the only other handgun I'll be using is the um like I said, the handgun you get in the police the police car in the um in the garage. But I'll be using that only on Birkin 4. I mean not Birkin 4, Birkin 3. Normally I don't take these guys out, but we're gonna be taking them out. Because I don't have the grenade launcher to take them out later. You got to be careful on the stairs because you can't use your defense item. On the stairs. So. Dude, come on. How much damage are you going to take? Go down. She took way too much damage. Yeah, but if the zombies catch you on the stairs, there's nothing you can do. You can't even use your defense item. Pop him. Yeah, these zombies are tanks for some reason. Hold on. Get rid of him. All right. That way we don't have to worry about them when we come back through here. We also got the, um, we boarded up the other zombie window so we don't have to worry about him either. So. Miss Claire Redfield. Yo, um, how do you pronounce that? Spades? Hey, I appreciate you stopping by the stream. And yes, you know, I ain't got no, I don't have no problem supporting streamers, man. We got to support each other, man. I had a lot of fun while I was in there. I hope you enjoy your stay. Normally, I would be playing, um... I would be playing State of Decay 2, but I figured I'd try a handgun only run on stream of Resident Evil 2 Remake because I beat it yesterday, handgun only. How's your day going? And I'm sorry, now that I'm affiliate, now they're going to be running these ads, so I apologize in advance. But everybody has to go through it. Oh, you know what? I had it on the P... Uh, I'm sorry. I was about to say PS4. I had it on the Nintendo 64 as well back in the day. But of course, I played it on PlayStation first. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's funny because I don't. I still don't even really know what that is. So it's like... All of a sudden, I just saw the notification. It's like, hey, uh, hey, dog, you want to be on affiliate? I was like, sure, whatever the hell that is. But um, we're doing a handgun only run. So that means we're only running through. I'm only going to be using two handguns. The one that I have, the SLS. And the, um, and the handgun that I get in the parking garage. I will be using defense items because, I mean, some enemies, you know, just shooting them, especially Birkin 4. None of your weapons work against them, so I'm going to be using hand grenades. You can start making some cash with some ads and subs and stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm just happy that people come, come here to enjoy my stream. It's not all about that. I mean, I, I work my ass off as it is. It's nice, but 
Yeah, I actually did beat this yesterday. Um, speaking of which, can you hear the game? Is it too low? Is it too loud? Yeah, because I, I don't want it to be blowing out y'all's ears, but I don't want it to be too quiet. A bit too quiet. Okay. Um. How's that? Definitely gonna grab this one. Is that better? Okay, good. I mean, that's the thing with streaming with these games, man. I mean, I, I'll, I'll pop on a new game like Hunter Rex, and that game was loud as hell to people. So I got to go in and turn it down. But yeah, this is easy. I did this yesterday, man. I, um... Like I said, the only problems where I, the only time I have problems is uh Birkin 2 and 3. Because Birkin 2, he's just he's he's a monster. Like he will just come after you. Simple as that. He's like, you're gonna die. So I may die on him. Birkin 3 is not not too bad once you know what to do. Birkin 1 is 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 a joke. I could beat him just using two knives. Oh, hey there. I forgot about her. I forgot she came through the window. Ooh, stop missing shots. Headshot. Oh, let me move this out of the way. There we go. Poor Claire really goes through it in this game. Yeah. All because she's looking for brother Chris. That's all this is. She's looking for brother Chris here. She ends up running into a little, a little girl, Sherry, and have to deal with that stuff. And she's only 19 in this game. That's crazy. She's only 19 years old in this game. Uh, Leon is 21. Uh, what a what a hell of a day. A first day on the job for Leon. This dude got to deal with a zombie apocalypse and a master manipulator female at the same time. Poor guy. The dialogue is in Japanese because that's how I play. I always play it with the original Japanese voices. I love this game, man. If y'all ever got the chance, yo, cheap plug, I did a Resident Evil tier list on all the video games. And that was a lot of fun to do. It may piss a lot of people off, but, you know, hey, it's my my tier list. You know what I mean? My opinion. So that there may be some Resident Evil games that people are like, man, you don't like that game, man. You suck. But I, I had a lot of fun playing that, uh, playing that, making that video. Come on through, zombies. 
Oh, you want some too? That guy takes more damage than he needs to. You see those zombies bust in here. Where are you guys? These zombies are support. There we go. That's what I needed. See ya. And I don't come back over here again. Flash grenades are your best friend. Trust me when I tell you. They couldn't figure out how to use the handle. Yo, know, hey, at least the zombies are smarter in this one. Remember the OG Resident Evil? They couldn't go through the door at all. Like, you were safe. I think that guy's over there. Okay. There we go. The good thing about that is you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about the zombies coming in after you bust their legs. They can't open the door. Which makes a lot of sense. We already took care of these guys because normally in a regular playthrough, I would take care of them with the grenade launcher. But we don't have it. So we can't use it as soft limits. It's got cooties. We can't touch it. It'll burn thy skin. A lot of people make a mistake at this part. With that liquor right there, it's stuck in that animation. So a lot of people come in, they see the liquor, they panic. Either way, if you don't run into this room, that liquor is going to attack you. So, it's it, but when it starts to attack that body, it's stuck in the animation. So you don't have to worry about it attacking you. Just run into the room. Because if I just stood out here, then it would it would activate, it would jump at you and attack you. It's on the wall next to me there. Like this, I've learned a lot of stuff that you can do to manipulate this, not manipulate the game, but make the game a little, a little easier. Like for instance, I'll show you when I run out. Like, there are certain things that you can do so that zombies won't, they won't aggro, they, so to speak, they won't come after you. They won't even wake up if you, if you move a certain way. This part right here, if you just stand here until that thing blows up, the bookcase won't fall. If you stay in the room, that bookcase will fall over, then you got to deal with the liquor that comes down or Mr. X in, in the, the B scenario. And we don't want that. Okay, we got that backwards. Now flash grenades, they do affect liquors even though they're blind, I don't know why, but It just makes them go a little crazy. Gives you a couple of seconds to break through. We don't have to worry about coming up here again. Like this zombie right here, that guy will not wake up. If you hug the wall when you're going out, he won't wake up. I don't know why. But, you know, I take advantage of it when I take advantage of it.
And down to Birkin 1. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Take this guy down with two knives, only using two knives. But you have to do this. I mean, if you're on PC, that's the only way that this is going to work on PC. Because the FPS is higher. But um, you have, you have to do this in a specific way. Like, you got to get up on him as soon as that battle starts. And you got to knife this guy. I think about 31, 32 times. Because if you waste a couple of seconds, you're not going to be able to do it. Got to get up on him. He's going to grab you. Don't worry. That's why we have two knives so we can stab him. Stay on him. He's going to grab you. It's all good. Stab him. Go back to knifing him again. There you go. This only works on the PC. Sorry, console players. No weapons. <laughs> so it's like that that's how you get them if you're on PC. Like and I just learned this um last week, so to speak. Because I was looking through some speedrunners and I'm like, I didn't even know you could do that. Hey, I appreciate that. I just wish the other the other Birkin fights were that easy. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But I played this game so many times, I'm always but the fact that you can still learn new things about this game even though it came out in 2019. This this version. Did we get everything? Yeah. But yeah, just a couple of seconds on that. But like I said, if you stand there, if you stand there and then try to knife him, then you wasted too much time. Like he's he's going to grab you. You're not going to get as many as many hits on him. And then you're going to have to use guns to fight him. So. Hi, Sherry. You see, they got her in a Resident Evil 2 outfit because Claire's wearing her Resident Evil 2 outfit. The classic one. Same thing. This part, you don't even need weapons. I'm not going to use any. You can run, you can run through this part without a weapon. And this is where I'll get, get the other handgun, which is in that trunk over there. But I'm going to use that in Birkin, uh, Birkin 3. But you don't need any you don't need any weapons for this part. If you do this right, these zombies in here won't even wake up. So we don't have to worry about them. The liquors you can walk past them. So you don't have, like I said, that they're blind. So you can literally walk past them. Like they, they can smell you. They can smell you, but they can't see you. They'll just inch their way towards you. Just walk right on past them. Now 
don't worry about that zombie laying over there. When he does get up, for some reason, sometimes he opens the door, sometimes he doesn't. Ah, we got a break going. Sorry about that. We got ads running. Even with this one, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this one. But apparently, if you can watch Claire's left foot, when you when you grab the grate. See, I couldn't get that right. Slip right past him. Don't worry about this guy. Walk. See, this is one of the problems here. We need to get that. We need to get the liquors to go on the wall. Once they can get on the wall, see this one here? We got to get them to go up on the wall. Because I can't slip past them. And you guys are really annoying. Oh, snap. He jumped on me. Oh, man. And I just lost my knife. Crap. Um, I was not expecting that. Yeah, we made a small mistake there. Go back on the wall, dude. Yeah, sorry about the ads. Go on the wall, bro. Yeah, this one's he's he's being a little bit of a pain in the ass. He won't go on the wall. Most of the time. Okay, there we go. That's what I needed him to do. I need to get my knife back. So we're going to have to pop these guys. Or I may have just lost my knife. It is what it is. Really nothing I could do about it now. Because if I go and open fire, now you got three liquors you got to deal with. So, it is what it is. This is the other handgun I'll be using later. Like, even with this, the diamond key is only useful to Claire for one door. Like, this, this is the only door you're going to be using the key on. Leon doesn't need it at all, like I said, unless you're trying to uh, to do a 100% uh, run with this. Leon doesn't need this key at all. Bring out the SLS. And I don't have a knife. That sucks. But, um, it's all good. We're just going to have to pop these guys with the handgun. Try to kill them that way. We make mistakes and we deal with it. Simple as that. Oh, that was luck. 
Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Hey, dude over here. Want to see something cool? How about a bullet suppository, man? Oh, I got lucky with them headshots. You want to get rid of these guys because you don't want them in this room when Mr. X is running around. And I need that knife. Eh, we'll dump this. It's only four bullets. Need that knife. Man, that sucks that I lost my, uh... I lost my unbreakable knife. That sucks. I'm thinking about going back there to try to kill that liquor. To try to get my knife back. But I could grab that knife from the library. On that police officer, I left that one there. We have this one. Because I'm definitely going to need that knife later. The only reason why I'm coming down here is because I need the, uh, the hang on ammo that's in here. Thinking if I want to take the chance of going back down there and trying to get my knife back. I don't know. I think I might go back down there. Oops. What are you doing? I think I'm going to take the chance. I think I'm going to take the chance to try to go back down here. Because I need that knife. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I know exactly how I'm going to do it. But if I could just kill one of the, kill that liquor that has my knife in it, then I could slip past the other ones. So, wish me luck. Where's that other one at? Yeah, because I, I need that knife for a Birkin, uh, Birkin 3. All right, where is he? Right there. Crap. I was too late on that. But we got to get to the other end. I hate wasting time on this. But we have to get to the other end where I can... This, this is the zombie that has my knife in it. See that? You can slip right past these guys. Okay. I don't know how you hit me there, but it's all good. I was outside the door, so. This is what you gotta do. You gotta pop the door. Open. Gotta pop the door open and just shoot them. OK. 
okay, what it oh they're on the wall, crap. You just gotta get lucky. Was not planning on doing this. Come on. I hate wasting time having to do this. Is that the one with my knife in it? Come on. And the only reason why I'm shooting at the wall is to get their attention. That's the only way you could get them to come down. Okay. Give me my knife back. Thank you very much. I should have never made that mistake in the first place. But I feel better now. But yeah, you can use the door because with the liquors, with them, they reset. They always reset to where, they, where they're at once you go out the door. That's why you kept seeing me back out. Because otherwise, how the heck, how how the heck else was I gonna get it back using a handgun? And now that we wasted too much time on that, now we can continue. I feel better now that I got my knife back. Yeah, I mean, this is the unbreakable knife. I don't want to lose then. I got to go make dinner, but I hope you have a good stream. Hey, thank you for stopping by, Spades. I hope you have a good dinner, and I hope to see you later. And I'm going to catch your stream whenever you stream, bro. See you later. hell is she doing? You're gonna die. Thank you very much. Come on. These zombies, they love to play possum, yo. Alright, jackass. Hello there. How you been? Just run around him. Mr. X, like he... He attacks pretty slow. So you could literally, like, you have like a second. You have like a second to actually, you can walk up to him. And the way that he attacks is like he, 
he does haymakers, so you have like a split second before he actually attacks you. Don't run around that side of the room because, you know, Marvin's a zombie. You don't want to wake that guy up. Let's grab everything else. Um, no, we're not going to do that yet because we need we need space. Same thing with this zombie over here. If you don't go over there, he won't wake up. This guy laying here, don't go in there. And he won't get up. There's a liquor right there behind us. Mr. X will teleport over here once we pick up the once we pick up the handle here. Most of the time he does. See? Run around him. You have enough time to walk past this liquor. Not a big deal. If he does come out here, use the flash grenades. That's what they're for. And the thing about Claire scenario is that you can use as many flash grenades as you want. Assuming I pick up any. I just need one. You can use as many flash grenades as you want to with Claire. Just don't use the hand grenades. Because the hand grenades are, are important when you're fighting against Birkin, Birkin 4. With Leon, I only use two flash grenades, period. Because Mr. X is a pain in the ass to fight at the end of the game. And you need damn near all your grenades. So, especially because he has that charging attack that kills you instantly, that's what the flash grenades are for. You flash him, he stops dead in his tracks. Oh my god, I forgot to move it. <laughs> Sitting there talking. Um, okay. We don't want to do that. Alright, we're going to blind this guy. Wasn't even paying. Go down, Claire. Go down. Move it once. And we're good. And we don't have to come back through here again anyway, so. Mr. X is here somewhere. Ah, he got us. Sometimes you can slip past. Go in the door. Go in the door. That's why we have our herb on us. I never said that this would be a hitless run. Mr. X is outside. Yeah, he um he goes to the rooms that you've already been in. Those are the only rooms that he can actually go to. Like if you haven't been to that room, he won't go there. He'll just teleport where you are. It's weird how Mr. X works. And I hate the fact that I made two mistakes, but that's what happens. 
I literally just did this run yesterday. So, not going to be perfect on it. And Mr. X is right there. Got to wait for him to leave. That's what the headphones are for, so you can hear where he goes. Okay. He's still over there. Come on, bro. You gotta leave, man. I don't know why he keeps going over there. That door is locked. And he's still going over to the right. Just pop him in the leg. If he's in your way, you can stun the zombie for a quick second. But don't stay up here too long. Because, of course, Mr. Happy's going to hear your gunshots. See, you hear him stomping around up there? We're safe in here. There's certain rooms that he won't go in. Any 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 safe rooms he won't go in there. What I mean by you know safe rooms and stuff. We got Sherry here that we got to deal with. Square, sorry. Yeah. Um, yo, I never understood. Like, she could literally just rip this off the wall. It's cardboard. Come on now. What did you jump down for, girl? I was holding up and she jumped down. I never said I was playing our A, Vulcan Gohan. How you doing, brother? I never said I was playing Resident Evil 3. <laughs> this is hard he too, brother. This is my favorite one in the series. How you doing today? Thank you for stopping by. Does it really? Let me fix that real quick.
There you go. Resident Evil 2. I could have sworn I clicked Resident Evil 2. But I had just woken up. Like I said, I, I worked the overnight shift. Buying food, huh? I hear that. This guy, like, he, he's a dick compared to the original Chief Irons. Yep. That's the only way that I play uh, any Japanese game. I always play with the Japanese voices. I'm an authentic guy like that. I watch all anime in Japanese. Plus the voices just sound better to me in this. I'm sorry. Leon's Japanese voice actor is way better. I just don't I don't really care for Leon's voice voice acting in English in this one. I know. I still Japanese voices for me. Even in Resident Evil 4, Ada's voice actress is way better. Way better in Japanese than it is in the English one. I'm not bagging on her too bad, but it just wasn't very good, in my opinion. You know, I actually think she's going to be dumb enough to come out. Run, Sherry, run. Don't let Mario catch you. I'm trying to figure out where the hell he got an axe from. Where the hell did he get an axe from? No. Simple part, man. Simple part. Anyways, how you doing today, Vulcan? Now we get to get the hell out of this police station. Make our way down. Socially drained, huh? Oh, you were shopping at Walmart? Yeah, I don't I, I like I have my groceries delivered to me, man, because people get on my nerves, especially around this time of the year. People act like maniacs. So I always use like, you know, Uber Eats or DoorDash or something like that. Hey. Oh, 
I love the old school music. Like his theme song is one of my favorites. Sorry about the break. That's true. I mean, they are expensive, but you know, sometimes that's, you know, I'd rather just deal with that. How do you, you ensure you get what you need? They always say, sorry, the item is, is out of, is out of stock. That's true. You know, for not for the most part, a lot of times I get exactly what I need, but you can um, you can do substitute items, even if it's like that. So you can say, you know, if they're out, grab this instead. Oh, yeah, that's true. If they're out of that, then, <laughs> then you're screwed. If you're out of meat, you're screwed. Are you dead? Yeah, you better be dead. Die. Yeah, if they're out of meat, then, yo, know, then you better, you know, you're pretty much out of luck there. How are you still alive, bro? Yeah, you, you don't have the option for that. Not when you're having groceries delivering and stuff. You don't have that option. So I get what you're saying. Get rid of this guy. Die. Bark, bark. <laughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Yeah, you don't really have like the, the customization when you're doing DoorDash and Uber and all that. And I understand that it's, it's a hell of a lot more expensive. Sometimes I use it. I don't use it all the time. Sometimes I will use them, but it's a pickup so I can just go over there and grab it myself. But I, I you know, the whole point is so I don't have to go deal with people and go shopping and all that nonsense. Like, if it's a store nearby, I'll just go over there and go grab it. And I used a little bit more ammo than I wanted to because I had to, I had to get my knife back because I ended up stabbing one of the liquors in the garage. And I need that knife. I love this song, man. Yeah, 
Right, we're pretty much halfway through the game, handgun only. Yeah, in the Midwest, cuts of meat are super important. Are they really? Uh, so you like that, you, you like that, you know, like the exquisite type of, you know, steaks and beef and stuff like that. Uh, you got me there. It does come from the Midwest. And it's not all, uh, you know, it's not all genetically enhanced beef with all, all these steroids and stuff in it like we got over here now i could try to slip past these guys i could just knock them Need to knock the guy. Yeah, we're gonna have uh this part is gonna be a little more difficult but we'll make it through no just simple new york steak and ribeye I never, you know, I, I never went to like the meat markets, even when I was living at home in New York. You know, when I was a kid, I just said I was hungry and food just magically appeared. That probably would have been the stuff that my father, my father dealt with. Yes. And it tastes good too. I love ground beef. Like, I, I'm sorry, man. Ground turkey, that stuff tastes bland to me. Ground chicken is okay, but you know, only for certain stuff. I, I don't know how people can eat that. I'm gonna make a, a turkey burger. That stuff is nasty to me. I like beef. I'm going to use the enhanced bullets just to get these guys out of my way because I'm not going to waste a lot of ammo trying to. Oh, come on. There we go. Not going to waste a lot of ammo trying to kill those guys. They just, I mean, you end up wasting way too much ammo. So I'd rather use the, uh, the high power rounds. You, oh, okay. So you've never had the ground chicken, ground beef, ground pork and all that. You know, ground pork is all right. Like it, like I said, it depends on what you what you're cooking, you know. But just like spaghetti and 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 you know, mac mac and cheese and all that, ground beef for me. 
Hamburgers, ground beef for me. Yeah, I mean, well, ground soft, ground sauces, that's ground pork. See, Claire is, uh, that's the thing that I like about Claire is that she's much faster than Leon is. So you can slip right past that G adult. But Leon, since he, since Leon is a bigger, uh, he's got a bigger, a bigger hitbox. Like you'll get grabbed by that guy every time. Headshot. Hey, dude. Headshot. Hey, dude. Headshot. I love knifing. It's so satisfying. Yeah, I mean, very rarely, that's the problem. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, stand on the soapbox or anything, Vulcan, but nobody really eats anything fresh over here in the U.S. Everybody eats garbage. You know, they eat these, these garbage fast food places that's not real food. And it's pretty bad, man. Like I said, you know, Taco Bell and Burger King and McDonald's and all that stuff. That's not real food. We got a difficult fight coming up. I get upset when we buy all the groceries we do. Then we're like, I'm too tired to cook. Cooking is fun. I enjoy cooking. You know, my father was the one that taught me how to do that. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't have a problem with cooking at all. And it's like, you know, you when you cook, you got to be smart about it. Like if you're going to cook something, cook something that you can eat for a couple of days. Like I would cook like you know, I would cook like a big like a big pot of spaghetti or a big pot of mac and cheese or, you know, meatloaf, things like that that I can eat for a couple of days and then you cook again just spread it out yo now my father he cooked my father cooked for us every day that's just how he was and, and my, my dad was always like what do y'all want to eat like he never made us eat what we didn't want to eat Back in the water. Thank you. That's how you can slip past these guys. Like once they once they like they do like that little head head wiggle that they do, you know that they're about to go back underwater. water. 
And then you just slip past them. Way, please. I could just let him grab me. Yeah, go ahead and grab me. Flash grenades do affect these guys. But they still hit you, though. I hate that. They do like a crazy swing that can still clock you. Yeah, I mean, I I get it. Look, I work a lot. I get not wanting to not wanting to come home and have to cook, but I enjoy cooking. Let's see if I can get that guy to fall down here. Wait, wrong weapon. Here we go. You're gonna die, man. What type of what type of things do you cook, man? If I can ask. Let's get the hell out of here. And we're going to pop our first save of the game. Hey there, fella. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't slip past that one. Are you serious? Wow, you hit me. Okay, I'm gonna need you to disappear, dude. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to kill this guy. It's not taking a hint. Guy's taking way too much damage. That's 15 shots that I put into him. And die, dude. And we don't have no healing on us. We might die here. Tacos, spaghetti, hamburgers, steak, quesadillas, lasagna, various po uh, pastas. Sounds good as all hell, man. Come on up. Grab that, because I'm going to need it. Up we go.
And I got hit too many times in this run. I got hit, I think that's my third or fourth time getting hit. I kind of pride myself in, in uh, running through without getting hit once. But I never said this was going to be a perfect run. I know that. It's hang on only. And I know for damn sure we don't have to go back down there again. We're gonna pop down our first save here because I'm not trying to die. And then gotta start all the way from the beginning again. All right, we're gonna throw this away for now. Um. Pull out this one here. We'd have to get out all the healing we can get here. And hopefully I have enough to take this guy down. Because I earlier in the game I used more ammo than I than I planned to. This might be rough here. But at least we saved, so if I die, y'all yeah, were right here. Just stand over here. He'll never hit you. That's another trick that I learned watching speedrunners. For some reason, he won't hit you if you stand right here. Hopefully we can get this. Hello, pal. I don't know how he got me there. His, his range is ridiculous. How am I still hurt? Don't worry. That doesn't do any damage to you. Like, sometimes he just grazes you. Look like he almost, we almost got, got there.
Uh, hopefully we have enough ammo to take this guy down. Alright, bro. I'm gonna need you to go down, dude. It was nice knowing your brother, but you got to go. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. See ya. First try. Not too bad. And we barely got hit there. The only reason why I'm grabbing these uh, defense items is Ivies. Ivies, my friend. Yo, know, they're, they're very grab happy and you need as many defense items as you can get. Like I said, I, I wasted more ammo than I, than I wanted to. Yeah, I hate, I hate Ivies, man. Like, they're, they're so annoying in this game. No matter how quick you are, they're, they're gonna catch you. Like, there are times where I swear I got past those guys. And they grab you like, hey, where you going? And if you ain't got no defense item, they eat your face off. Like you're literally dead. You know, is every VTuber a Leon fan? Like I'm starting to, I'm starting to notice a trend here. Like I got random Twitch streams over here. And I swear every every veto every VTuber that I run into is a Leon Kennedy fan. Am I missing something? Alright. And we're here. Now we just gotta be careful not to die here. Cause I'm not trying to go back. To fighting Birkin again. Because they played RE4 Remake and wanted to play RE2 Remake to see what the fuss is all about. I love this game. Like, I uh, I did a Resident Evil tier list, another cheap plug. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Yeah, I made the uh, the Resident Evil tier list where I I put in ranking all the Resident Evil games, including the spinoffs on, on my YouTube channel. Hell of a lot of fun. Um, I shouldn't have brought all these knives, but hello, I'm going to need my knife back, brother. Go down. Thank you. Thank you and good night. Thank you. Also, Leon is the first choice. 
so most people go with the with the first choice that's true even though he wasn't my first choice like when i first played this game i played as claire same with uh with resident evil one i played as jill first that was the very first character i ever played as all right we're gonna have to drop some of this stuff Nothing against them, but I, I played as Jill first. I played as. I didn't know that as a 10 year old in 1996. I didn't know that Jill was the easier of the two. I was just like, hey. Well, I mean, that's for the original one, but for the remake, you can put it on hard mode. Which is what I do. But yeah, I mean, that's how it is. Like, Chris is the harder mode. Leon is the harder mode. I played through both. Alright, we're going to have to be extra careful here. Because we're going to have IVs on our ass. So we're going to have to bring... defense weapons just in case they grab us because I don't want to use and I'm not going to use that well actually you know what I may but yeah Jill hard mode is great and I'm trying to see if I can um if I can play the uh like the nightmare mode that, that they created, like the nightmare mod. Give me one second. I'm going to take a five minute break. Be right back.
No ride. I just wanted to get some water and all that. Yo, so anyways, though, I want to try that that remake, man. Not remake, uh, the nightmare mod. Because that's what I need. I want more challenge. Anything to make the game more hard. See, I don't want to mix that. Crap. Um. All right, we got to get rid of one of these. Did you notice that the shapes there are numbers? Yeah, the numbers on the keypad. That's why it's easy to remember. Like you got here. Like the first code is two, one, two, three. So that's how I can remember it. The second code, this is the A scenario is two, zero, six, seven. So definitely remember that it's a, it's a number keypad. Make more handgun bullets. Handgun bullets are your friend. Hello, friend. But yeah, I figured, um, okay. red, blue. Mm -mm -mm. I always draw a blank when it comes to this. The, the second scenario has always been a pain when it comes to this one. Like, I remember I spent way too much time trying to get this puzzle. Got an ivy out there. So you want to get your, get your defense item ready. In case they grab you. See? You see how I, I was way past him and he still grabbed me? I hate that. But it is what it is. That's why you always want to have a defense item on you. So you don't die. Some more handgun ammo. And we're definitely going to need that. Against Birkin 3. Knife these guys. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Everybody gets knifed. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, for like I said, for some reason, knifing on the PC because of the high FPS. It's it's much. I don't know why the knife is stronger. Come here, mushroom head. Lucky headshot. You know, I might I may have to eat my words when it comes to this handgun. Yo, know, you never see me use this handgun at all. Um, because I said that it sucked, it was the weakest of, of the the handguns. I may have to eat my words on that one. Extra ammo going.
they coded it to do a specific amount of damage per frame per frame but forgot that people get better frame rate on high-end pcs yeah pcs for the win brother i can't i can't do nothing about that like i i, I don't mean to become that guy yo but pc like ever since i got on pc i can't go back man i can't go back to the console I can't do it. I got that taste of PC and I'm I'm here to stay. And I don't mean politically correct. One of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> and I, I hear a song right there. So, um, have you beaten Evil Within yet, Vulcan? Because I, I haven't been around. What was it again? Oh, yeah, it's Mer. Mer. Come on. Oh, you got too sick. Got you. So what have you been playing as of late? Because I know Atomic Cat, that dude's been playing. Um, He was playing Silent Hill 3. I know he was playing that. And he did a little bit of the. Uh, the randomizer, I think Bio Rand, I think it's called. All right. Um, I might drop a save here as well, too. Because I don't want to go through all of that crap again if the Ivies kill us. And then I'll do my final save before Birkin. Birkin, uh, three. I only stream on the weekend, so yesterday I played Baldur's Gate 3. Can you explain to me what that game is? Because I've been hearing about that a lot. Like, what exactly is that game? Is it like Diablo? Tomb Raider 3, hell yeah. You mean that the old, the old school, uh, the old school Tomb Raider games? Go ahead and grab me. Oh, wow, he didn't grab me. Ooh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Now nah, he's gonna grab us. Do you know what uh D and D Dungeons and Dragons? Like, I mean, what are we talking about here? You have to dumb that down for me, bro. Yeah, I know what Dungeons and Dragons are. I played that back in the day on the arc on the arcade. Completely forgot that I'm supposed to go in here. Too busy chit chatting. Good thing I had another knife on me. It's Dungeons and Dragons, a top-down view, aka Diablo, call it. Oh, okay. Well, I, I definitely enjoyed Diablo 3. I didn't play the other ones, but I played Diablo 3, played the crap out of that on the Nintendo Switch when I had one. So I'm going to have to check that out. Is it turn? It's not turn-based, is it?
Ah, it's turn based. Ah, I never really. I mean, a turn based, I could take it or leave it. Like, I think the last turn based game that I played was um was Final Fantasy 13, and that game sucks. But um, I like I like you know action action uh, RPGs. I'm gonna slip right past you. That's funny how I was able to do that twice. And you will die. Yeah. I don't think the Ivies die at all, to be honest. I think they just they just pass out. <laughs> Cause it's like you know one of the things that I do here pop pop the uh the things here oh crap they got up not good get off me yeah um we might have to do this part over because i can't i can't give up my uh let's see Go down. Come on, man. Are you serious? See if we can slip past these guys. Hey, got another knife. Thank you, pal. Oh, God. Off me. One of the things that I don't like that Claire does, or Leon, for that matter, is I hate, like, when they stab the Ivies, they just stand there for, like, a couple of seconds. It's like, move your ass. What the hell are you doing? You can always go and play boulders... I don't know if I'm saying Balder, Balders, Balders, Gate, Dark Alliance, if you want to play D&D &D without the turn base. I may have to check that out. Because I've been meaning to get my hands on Diablo 4 as well, too. I'm going to wait until that goes on sale because I am not paying 70 bucks for a game these days. It ain't happening. Where am I going? Not paying attention. Sorry about that. Balder. So, uh, so Michael Jordan, basically. Charles Barkley. Balder. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't need it. I only get I only get one pouch. I don't I don't need multiple pouches because I don't you know I don't really carry stuff like that. The extra space I never really needed it. Two spaces is good enough for me. What was that? Oh S S. Yeah, because, like, I played this game so many times, I realized what, what I need and what I don't need. Do you know that the Doom and Quake games were IDs, D&D &D games back in the 80s? No, I didn't. Honestly, I mean, I know of Doom and all of that stuff, but I didn't I didn't play it because, again, like, I just I don't like first person shooters. That's never been my thing. But that's interesting to know. I didn't know that the. Uh, that those were IPs where they. So they were the same. Uh, and I hope I have enough here. So they had the same. uh 
developers. That's what I meant to say. I'm going to take all of my healing here. Because we damn sure going to need it. Final save of the game I'm going to do. This is our final save of the game, folks. You only go for three. Because if you want to get that S plus rank, you can't go beyond three. And I want to... Do I have another defense item that I could take with me, though? Because I don't want to lose my knife. Um... Uh, then we'll drop one because there's a first aid, first aid down there anyway. Because when he jumps on you, I don't want to stab him with my knife because I need it. Yeah, Wolfenstein, Doom, Quake, and Rage. Yeah, I know about all those games. Those are PC things there. Hello, friend. I don't know how you hit me there, but oh well. range on this guy has always been funny to me. Ah, I gotta learn how to dodge. See, you don't want to use your knife when you got that guy there doing crap like that. Drop it. Drop it. As Robocop would say. That attack, if you don't have nothing there, like you will die. That's one there. Did get that. Oof. Ah, yeah, there was nowhere for me to go there. There was nowhere for me to go there. You evil fool. Thank you for that. Off me, please. Thank you very much. Wow. I don't know how you hit me there. I need to get that other eye. This is this is a bad run here. Come on, man. Thank you. There you go. First try. How about that?
Yeah, that I, I tell you, man, that that knife, man, knife only is is ridiculous on this, on the PC. What time are we at? Okay, we still got plenty of time to get an S plus. Cause you have to do two hours and thirty minutes on the A scenario. And that's basically how you have to get them. Like I got hit a lot, but whatever. Um, shoot the eyeballs, knife them as much as you possibly can, especially when he gets in that third stage. When he gets in that third stage, because he's going to be stuck in the animation, he's going to go and throw down the pillar, knife the hell out of that guy. I don't know if it works on console, but on here, that definitely works. And when you're knifing him, you want to get like to the side of him or to the back of him because it does like you're hitting him. You're actually slashing him twice. Whereas if you're directly in front of him, you're only slashing him once. I, I mean, if that makes any sense. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And we're good to go here. We're good to go from this point on. We pretty much got this game locked. You ever notice whenever you try to point the camera towards their face, they turn their heads? Like if you're close up, see? It's like, don't, don't point the camera at me. I'm not looking my best right now. Let's get the hell out of here. Grab that just in case. And we're good. We got our three saves. We got past Burke and four. We're good here. We just got to get past these IVs. And then Birkin 4 will be will be easy. Now with Birkin 4, I have to use grenades and I have to use the Gatling gun. Because with Birkin 4, none of your weapons work on it. Like I have no choice on that. None of your weapons will work on them. Come on, Ivies. Come on, Sherry, open the door, sweetheart. A girl. This guy only has one HP. Bam, he goes down. I don't know how long he's been on fire for. stuff because I don't need it 
pull out the grenades. You should have nine grenades by this point. All for Birkin. Make sure I don't have nothing else. Yeah, you should by this point, like I said, you should have nine grenades. If you can, try not to use any of them. Because the grenades do a significant amount of damage on Birkin 4. Notorious full. Eh, I don't need that. Give me this. So it's more like a hangout with the asterisk next to it. Hello, friends. So we meet again. Wonder where he is. There you are. Eat a eat a grenade. That's one. Over here, friend. Oh, he's climbing up. Oh, come on. Really, bro? Over here, stranger. Are you done climbing? No, he's not. He's right there. Are you done yet? No, he's not done yet. We can do this all day, brother. You're done, bro. You're done. There, I literally used two bullets. I literally used two bullets. Now we're done. Beat that. One minute, 56 seconds. Three saves. S plus rank. Because that's how we do. Hardcore mode. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And I figured I wanted to give you guys something here because today was uh last night was pretty rough, man. Like, I'm not even going to lie there. When you work that night shift. Hey, thank you for stopping by the stream, Vulcan. I hope you have a good day, brother. I'm probably going to call it uh call it here today anyways, because we just play through the whole thing of Resident Evil.